What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We're doing another subscriber request of course today. Um, today we are doing Patterson River Golf Club or Country Club. This is courtesy of Darren Marsh on YouTube, so shout out to you, I appreciate the uh, suggestion and request. This is in Bond Beach, Victoria, Australia. Um, he said that this is my course with a word, so I'm assuming that means it's uh, Darren's home course here. So. He said it would be interesting to see someone else play it. Hopefully put up a uh, halfway decent score here and don't embarrass ourselves on uh, your home course. So like always, we've got Home Tee Hero uh, on the phone. We've got Garmin Approach R10 behind me on a uh, DIY leveled stand. Country Club Elite mat here that I can hit down into and put some tees into. And um, we've got some 10 by seven nets over there. So just quickly before you get started, um, the last video I recorded was I believe Winter Pines. Um, unfortunately, the camera that um, is recording me and recording my swing gave out and turned itself off around the 15th hole. So um, if you see that video, I apologize. It's going to be, it's good until like the 14th, 15th hole. And then after that, it's just going to be a uh, home tee hero. And then basically my play-by-play -play audio when I'm uh, talking and hitting. So I apologize for that. I'll probably check the camera a few times during this round to make sure it doesn't turn itself off again. But um, that was the video. That was the first time I started doing the... Uh, somewhat new swing tip or swing technique, a little swing change with uh, trying to eliminate some of the sway, especially with the longer clubs, mainly my driver. Um, try not to sway as much and get a little more bend in rotation, bending my left knee, which should in turn and seem to work pretty well for that uh, first round. Bend my knee a little bit and be able to create a little more rotation and, and turn with my hips. So um, was putting out the driver a little bit more seeing like on average I was gaining about anywhere from 10 to 20 yards which is cool so hopefully that continues we'll see we're gonna go ahead and get into it um, first hole we've got a par 4 it is relatively straight slight dog leg right we're gonna aim right up here about 275 also gonna keep an eye on the wind that's been a little glitchy lately for some reason well, I shouldn't say lately, there was one course where it was clearly turned off and I showed that multiple times, but it still showed that the wind was going. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Hopefully the camera doesn't turn off. I've had the mic turn off, but knock on wood. The mic was one time, hopefully that doesn't happen. So hopefully all things are uh, a go here and work well. So go ahead, hit the driver. Hopefully get off to a good start here. That was left, that was off the heel. Shouldn't be too bad though. I don't know about that one, that one would have been a misread. That one started, maybe I'm putting some side spin. I was missing, I hit the driver pretty good with the uh, more bend in my knee and more turn. Um, I was basically sliced everything and faded and pushed everything to the right. So I'm gonna try to strain things out here. Um, that one definitely started left, so that was either a misread or it started pretty far left and based on that net and had a, a bunch of side spin to the right, which could have been the case too, but um, second shot here, we've got 111 down two, so it's going to roll out a little bit when it hits. We ideally want to get over this bunker and then we've got the 10% because we're in the rough, so we're looking around as 109, 119, we're around 120-ish gonna go pitching wedge I'm gonna mention the the knee thing with my rotating the hips a few times I'm sure this round but if you want to hear more in-depth my explanation I basically talked about it almost the whole round um, during that winter pines video so go check that one out if you're interested Uh, and that's been my miss with this new swing. Hopefully that sits. My miss with this extra turn and bend and rotation with my knee has been pretty low, basically super thin skulls that are going 
anywhere from 5 to 25 yards longer than I would like them to. And that was a good case there. We're off the back. Luckily, it kind of stopped. That wasn't too bad, but waste of a stroke. Hopefully, that doesn't keep happening. I think, ideally, I need to just focus more so on the mainly the driver and then some of the longer clubs, like maybe my from like 6, 7 iron and up. Um, it's basically like the hybrids, 4, 5 iron, etc. Do more of the focus on the turn versus sway and then probably try to keep some of my lower or higher irons whatever like anywhere from eight through wedges basically the same swing but we've got 15 yards plus we need the 10 percent so right around 16 17 yards we're gonna go 50 uh, or 60 degree it's kind of unfortunate too with that winter pines video um, granted you got to see up until the 15th hole but I actually played pretty well so unfortunately the last few holes, those swings weren't on camera, but I uh, hit behind that. It's gonna be relatively straight, but I hit that fat. Camera seems to be doing all right. Second hole, we get a par three. Darren didn't mention if this course was difficult or not. Hopefully it's not too challenging. Playing from the back tees like always. So he must have squeaked out a par, I didn't see that, but we're even through one. We've got 174 down one. So we're looking at 173. Should be, that's kind of between an eight and a seven. It's closer to the eight, so usually the eight on course is around 170, 175, and then 180-ish is the uh, seven iron, so we're gonna go eight iron. See if we can get something on the green here. <sighs> Hit that fat and left. <coughs> Bad shot there. All right, 38 up one, so this is gonna die a little bit when it hits. So we're at 39, plus we need another three or four, so we're looking right around 43, 44-ish, maybe 45. Gonna go 56 degree. Pulled it left. Bogey, so we're now plus one, I believe, through two. Third hole, par four, see if we can get a good drive out there. Looking like a dog leg right. Not a whole lot to worry about. We've got some water way left, but hopefully we don't even come close to that. We're gonna aim right about there, 275-ish, actually. That's probably a better line right there. In that video, again, the winter pines, I think it was, um, with this kind of swing change, if you will, with the uh, rotation versus swing, I was getting some drives. Uh, 280-ish, 290. I don't know if we hit 300, but there was uh, a few drives, definitely multiple drives, upwards of uh, 275 that we usually play towards, so gonna have to keep that in mind when picking out some of these lines for the driver. <sighs> that was worse than the first one. I don't know about that. That also said it went right. R10 might be a little buggy on that driver. That was definitely started pretty far left. That should have been, unless I'm somehow with this newer swing, I guess, that I'm not used to. That one definitely felt like usually that would have been, that was definitely low and off the heel and started pretty far left. I would assume most of the times those just kind of 
keep staying left and keep going. Somehow that one we made it to the right side of the fairway, but that was either a misread or I'm putting a bunch, bunch, bunch of right side spin on the ball, which I don't love. Gonna try to strain that out next time, I guess. Aim a little further right, try to actually draw the ball a little bit, but see if we can make up for it. We got 84 yards, no slope, plus the 10%, so we're looking at another eight or nine. So right around 92, 93. I'm gonna go 52. This is right in that territory where I start debating Fuller 52 or take a little more club with the pitching wedge and choke down a little bit more. Kind of popped it up towards the left. Hopefully it comes back a little. Not too bad. Not sure why those wedge shots and the iron shots seem to be all right, uh, dispersion wise, left and right with the R10. Um, I came out and hit nine irons like I usually do on the driving range and it seemed all right. Not sure why. Uh, the driver would be somewhat misreading, but we'll see if we can just pull one right down the middle and solve that. So we're gonna aim right about there, 290. We got water probably to deal with on the second shot. Same thing. All right, that one was what I would expect. That one in real life probably went even further left, but it definitely was low left again off the heel. 264 though, so it does seem like even with these miss hits, that was definitely not a great swing. I am getting more distance out of it, so that should really show when I actually connect on one here. camera's still going, I apologize. It's gonna be just a few slight breaks in between shots to make sure that's going. If I'm out here playing and recording the video for you guys, I wanna make sure it's actually all on tape there, so. All right, long second shot. We've got 307 left to the hole. We're aiming 268 up there, so I'm gonna grip and rip the three hybrid. See what happens here. Kind of far right, but I hit that decent. Hopefully it doesn't catch any of the trees. We'll take that. 259 off the deck. We got 61 yards left. Third shot on a par five. That's basically why I bought those hybrids right there for that shot. A long second shot onto a par five or a real bad tee shot on a par four. Possibly even a long par three, something like that for the other ones, but we'll take that. Still haven't experimented with the three wood, but um, to my knowledge, based on the way they're designed, the three hybrids are easier to hit off the deck versus the three woods, but I know some people love their three woods or even five woods or seven woods I've seen. May have to experiment with those in the future. But we've got 61 yards plus the 10%. So that's another six or seven. So we're looking right around 67, 68 yards. I'm gonna go 52. It's right around a 50-ish or so percent, 52 here. Kind of popped it up again. Should be there though. All right, we'll take that. Didn't feel great, didn't feel exactly how I wanted to hit it, but it, we ended up getting a good result, so can't be too mad with it. All 
All right, fifth hole, part four. Some of the water's coming into play now. I wonder what this looks like in real life. They look like little, almost little ponds. It's pretty cool, some of these layouts, but this is a difficult tee shot. There's a small landing area right between there, so really need to keep this one straight. The smart play would probably be just to lay up and hit something about 200 yards out there, but generally that's not how we do it, especially when we don't have to worry about actually putting the ball in the water. Worst case scenario, it goes into the woods and I go look for it after. But we're going to put something right down the pipe, hopefully. Definitely started right. I don't know how much that's going to come back. That might be in the water to the right. Ooh, did we get it to work? Whew. Wow. We'll take that. 279. I think we're just in the rough right between there. Decent shot. Maybe I just need to start. Um, that one started right and it kind of stayed right. That was a little bit of a fade for me, more of a slice because it's kind of uncontrollable. But. Um, not too bad. I think I just need to aim a little more right with my driver and my alignment. Kind of swing more out to the right. Should minimize some of that, I would think. So, we got lucky there. See if we can take advantage of it. 130, up one. So it's going to die a little bit. Not going to be a ton of rollout. Granted, one yard isn't a whole lot. And that could be more so up to the green, and the green could be flat. So, it's going to play pretty standard. But 131, plus we need another 13, 14 yards. So, we're looking at about 145-ish. I'm going to go choke down 9-iron. 145, that's right between strong pitching wedge, soft 9. I'm going to go soft 9, choke down about an inch here. Chuck it decent, started right. Usually don't get a whole lot of right to left action with my iron, so it did stay to the right, but we caught the green. For a plus two par, we'll take that. Grab some Gatorade, check the camera quick. Ideally, I don't want to be checking the camera, it's just one more thing to think about in the back of my head while I'm trying to hit decent shots here, but that was the first, maybe second time, I mean it just happened so it's fresh in my mind, but it hasn't really been an issue for all the videos I've recorded, so hopefully it doesn't continue. That was hopefully just a one-time thing and you kind of forget about it, but we're going to go 6th hole, par 5, 284 up there for where we're aiming, see if we can put another good swing on the driver, or at least better. Actually hit that one decent, but it was kind of up and to the right. That one felt quicker, but unfortunately those trees knocked us down. But I mean, 291 into the trees. Granted, we're in the trees, not gonna mess with these, but for distance-wise, I'll take that. That's kind of what I was talking about, gaining that extra yardage with the uh, kind of leg bend and turn. Didn't seem too bad, I looked at it quick. I haven't edited that video, but I looked at a couple swings quick um, from that Winter Pines when I first started doing it. This is only the second round trying this, so definitely gonna have to get used to it for a couple weeks, if not a couple months, if this seems to work. But it didn't look too horrendous. I don't know, it's kind of weird seeing a little bit of a change. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad swing, if it looks better or worse. I guess you guys will have to tell me. But we're right underneath 
the tree and like right behind it by the looks of it. So I don't know what's gonna happen here. There's a good chance I hit this and it just bounces right off the base of this tree. I think we're literally right up against it. So um, I guess I'll aim a little bit right. Hopefully we clear it. We got 219, 262. I must have pushed it way back. So we're gonna aim right about there. It's still too long, but um, 220 plus it'll need at least another 20. So we're looking at 240-ish. I'm gonna go four hybrid. Hopefully we clear this tree, put something up by the green, and ideally not into that water on the right. But getting past this tree is the first thing. hit that good uh, just what I thought I hit that really good too that was gonna be pretty close to the 240 number I believe but we got eight yards instead because we we're right off the tree so might have to do it again it looks like there's a branch hanging out over here towards the left so we've got I think we're gonna have to do it again we're eight yards closer but we got 213 plus another good 21 ish if not more uh, for the 10% so right around 235 Let's see if I can do that again here <sighs> Hit that one just as good I think should be pretty good. Hopefully it stays on the green. Oh, just a little right. I think we caught that tree going by. I'll take that though. Two good swings in a row with the four hybrid. Fortunately, that cost us basically a wasted stroke off that tree, but that's what happens when you slice your driver into the woods. So we got 16 yards, no slope, plus another one or two. So we're looking at 17, 18 yards. Here you go, 60 degree. Hopefully get this in the in, uh, inner circle around the pin, make up for that a little bit. A little left, should be decent though. Take the plus one for a par. Able to salvage that one. Seventh hole, par three. We got 175 up two, so we're looking at 177. So that's again right between an eight and a seven. This time it's closer to the seven. So that's what I'm gonna go with. If we really catch this one good, it's gonna be anywhere from five to 10 yards long, but like usual, that doesn't happen. Unfortunately, that frequently where I pure them, so um, even a little bit of a miss hit, a little fat, a little thin, whatnot, um, that should get us close. Struck it decent, a little bit right, per usual. Good number though. We'll take the bird all day. Thank you, camo shorts. All right, eighth hole, par four, 326 yards. It's aiming us right there. We're gonna go a little bit further up here. So, if we actually hit this one good again, similar to the last one, I think it was 290 something into the trees or whatever it was. If we actually hit this one good and we don't hit the trees, we could come close to this. And close, I mean 300-ish, so we only have about 20 or so yards left.
that one was a little bit lower and again started right hopefully it comes back a little and it's not not good not as good of a strike there and we gotta mess with trees again A little bit further, honestly, would have been good. We would have been playing off this other fairway and probably not have to mess with these trees. Not sure. This looks like a pretty big tree. We've got 90 yards. I'm not sure. I've got 92 down one, plus we'll need another, call it 10 yards. So we're looking at 101-ish. Not sure if I can get the 52 up and over that tree quick enough. So it's either between open up a 52 or doing a punch, eight iron low, but it looks like there's at least, there's two more trees there, so I guess I'm gonna go 52. This has the potential of going up and over the net. I'm gonna put a pretty full swing, um, choke down just a little bit, open up the club face, put a pretty full swing on this 52, try to get it started up pretty quick, get up and over this tree. Uh, I think we caught the tree. That was dead. That was actually really what I wanted to do. That was dead straight over the net. That went pretty far back too. That was my Pro V1. I don't know if I'm finding that one. But switch out the ball. Kind of a tough shot there. You gotta kinda take what you have within home to here. It's a little tough judging the uh, height of those trees, but it's my own fault for putting myself there off the tee box. So Kind of a waste of a stroke, but we're hitting three, so we're gonna put this inside that inner circle to save par here. 30 yards plus another three or four, so we're looking right around 33, 34 yards. I'm gonna go 56. Ah, uh, hit it thin, it's straight. Hopefully that stays on the green. I think we got lucky there. That wasn't horrendous, but it was definitely thin off the bottom of the club. It was long as it showed, but as you guys see, home to here was pretty forgiving around the green without the putting. You, you kind of hit the green, it somewhat sticks and kind of stays on. If these greens are quick in real life, that would have been off the back for sure. All right, nine pole, we're even somehow with some decent swings, but some also pretty not great swings. Somewhat narrow fairway here. We got trees left and right. We're gonna aim right about there. See what happens. Try to keep this one a little bit straighter. Ideally, put a little right to left spin on it. Hit that one decent again, but I'm, it's starting right and then they don't seem to be coming back at all. That one's a tad straighter, but still, it's just staying right into those, uh, right off the tree. If I had to guess, it's probably 75% my swing. I am a Notorious slicer as majority of golfers are, but I do think there was a couple wonky driver I think probably misreads at the beginning that could be a little bit too Some of these it seems like I've hit similar shots before they start right like that and they come back towards the middle This one these are seeming to stay right. So if that's what they're actually doing. I can't be mad at that But if they're misreads, it's a little bit annoying So we're under trees I don't know what the deal is if we're in, I think we're in front of a big tree and next to a smaller one. Hopefully we have a decent look here. It's aiming a short, so I'm actually, I'm gonna go towards the, towards the pin. So we got 164, 165, plus we need another 10%, which would be 16, 17 yards. So 175, 182-ish. 
I'm gonna go seven iron. Really heavy. Bad swing. <sighs> Terrible. Granted, we are out of the rough, but I think they went 125 plus the 10 percent. So that was only about 135. It was like a 140 yard seven iron. It's pretty bad. 39 yards. 10%, so we're looking at another, call it four or five, so right around 44-ish. Popped it up into the left. bogey on the ninth. I believe we were even before that, so I think through nine we're plus one. I'll double check here in a second. And that is in fact the case. Ooh, long par five here, 537 yards. Looks relatively straight. We've got water short right. Hopefully that doesn't, that doesn't become an issue. And then we got water, we got a pond looking thing up to the green on the left, and then we got a river on the right. So at least for this first shot, we should be all right. Gonna hit driver. Again, trying to straighten this out here a little bit. See if we can do it. If I can't put any draw on the ball, any right to left action, I can at least try on this one. I might just try to start it a little bit further left. That one probably started left and See, that's what I was expecting for the other ones. That one actually felt like it started left. That could have came back a little bit, but that one stayed left. <sighs> All right, 330 yards left. Right into these trees. I think I'm gonna take that line up there. Grip and rip my three hybrid. Well, clearly starting it further left didn't work. That was frustrating. Sometimes I find myself trying to get too fancy with stuff, trying to do too many things at the same time versus just focusing on hitting the shot. Probably need to get back more to that. Heavy and started left, it'll probably come back right if we don't catch any of those trees. Hit it fat. Not great. And of course, we got more trees to mess with, so. Uh, that's a pretty big tree. And there's another one, short right. I don't know if I can get it up and over that tree quick enough. So I think I'm gonna go, we need 148, plus another 15. So we're right around 155-ish. I think I'm gonna go a little low punch five iron. See if we can run it up there, keep it low. Underneath that big tree and just to the left of this other one that I think we're near. Pushed it right. Got it to work though. Wasting strokes left and right here. 
So we're just in the rough. We got 31 plus another three or four, call it 34, 35. I'm gonna go 56. Should be decent, hopefully it's not too much. Tad long, but we're in that inner circle, I believe. Able to get another par on the scoreboard. All right, 11th hole, par four. Pretty decent dog leg right with water there. This is a uh, questionable line I'm taking here, but that's what we're gonna go with. Hopefully, this is the one. These are the type of shots where I could use kind of a, a big high fade up and over these trees and then put it somewhere towards the right. This will of course be one of those similar to on course where you actually could use your natural shot for me like a slice and this will be one that either stays straight or I put a draw on it but I was actually hit decent a little bit low so I might catch those trees I don't know if we got up and over them uh, we just caught the top of it. We'll take that though. 269 and we caught the tree which slowed it down a little bit. That one was actually, that still faded to the right but that was straighter. Somewhat promising there. Hopefully we get a nice wide open fairway where I can kind of let go on one if it stays straight. So we got 58 down one. I was going to roll out just a tad. So we got 57 plus another 5 or 6. So we're looking at right around 62, 63 yards. It's going to go 52 degree. It's going to be right around a 50%. Ah. <sighs> Caught it heavy. Hopefully that gets on the green. Another par. Ooh, this is a cool hole. Cool layout wise, but it's definitely somewhat intimidating all that water around. So, should be it's reachable though. 189 up once. We're looking right at 190. Should be nice smooth six iron. The back of my mind, as I'm pulling that club, uh, we get some room. Even if we hit this real fat, that should cover the water. I would think. Back of my mind, I'm thinking almost better off hitting a five and taking a uh, 10 yards off the back of the green kind of shot. But we've got some room. We're gonna put a good swing on it. Tad heavy towards the right. That might be just short, right of the green. And that's exactly what it is. Plus three, it's gonna be a bogey. Man, another one or two yards there that would have been on the green for a par. 13, par four. Uh, we got trees right in the way off the tee box. We're gonna aim right about there.
it's relatively straight, but that wasn't the best contact. 280 though into the bunker. Felt that one sounded like I uh, sounded like and felt like I caught the tee first, so I hit a little bit underneath that. That wasn't that wasn't great. Kind of popped it up just a little bit. I hit underneath it, but we'll take that though. Again, seems like with this somewhat new of a swing, we're getting that extra distance. So even on that slight miss hit, not too bad yardage wise. All right, out of the bunker. From what I've noticed, it says 20%, so it should just be an extra 10% on top of the rough, but um, rightfully so, it seems to be a lot more than that, so I'm almost going to double that. It seems to be a good at least 30%, if not 40% reduction out of the bunker. Um, I'm not sure if that's only around the greens, it's more like that, but um, from what I've noticed on, luckily we're not in it too much, but some of the other videos, um, I just add the 20% and it always seems to be short, so um, we're at 90 yards, no slope. So 20% would be 18 yards. Um, so that's at 108. I think I'm gonna add an extra 10 yards. So we're looking at 128. It's gonna be a slightly choked down pitching wedge. We'll see what happens. Well, that definitely shouldn't be short. That was really thin. We got lucky there. I hit that really thin. That would have been off the green in real life, but also wouldn't have had that same exact swing out of the bunker there. So that was definitely, um, definitely thin, but yardage wise for the bunker and shortage, that was definitely closer to 30, 40% reduction versus 20. 14th hole, par four. We've got a dog, slight dog leg right. We got water right. We're gonna aim up here, just to the left side of the fairway. This is a little bit more open, so I'm gonna try to go at it a little bit here with the driver. Let's see if we can get up towards that 300 mark. Started right. It's probably gonna keep going that way. Not too bad. I didn't get all of that one. Straighter though. 283. If I had to put a number on it, that was probably 80-85% how I felt I hit that, so. 125 left. We're just in the fairway, so no reduction in power. Down one, so we're looking at 124. Basically need the same shot here with the pitching wedge. Hopefully hit this one a little bit cleaner. In addition to the left, left knee thing with my rotation of the hips, I've continued to uh, basically strengthen my grip on the left hand. Should close the club face. It's still pull things right, but at least it eliminates it a little bit, but i um, still working on that with seeing my two knuckles on my left hand. A um, little bit of a weaker grip on my right hand, again, should help close the club face a little bit, and then lining up to this more towards the middle, at least, if not towards the back of my stance, and then a um, little bit better posture, a little more upright. That was better, but it was also a little thin. That might be long. Tad long, not too bad though. Grab some Gatorade again. Camera's still going strong, love to see it. Still not entirely sure what happened with that other round. It was 
a little bit earlier and it was pretty hot out so it was in the sun a little bit possibly overheating if I had to guess it was probably that but I don't know for sure all right 15th hole par 4 pretty long par 4 too 459 yards pretty open fairway though so same thing with the driver here going at it with the driver is probably the wrong mindset it's probably just green light swing free not swing harder but there's a fine line between the two up and to the right luckily we cleared that water but we're unfortunately messing with these trees again that one definitely was started right pushed right and stayed right seems to be granted it could just be the way I'm hitting the balls lately but seems to be with that newer swing going a lot more right even with the driver turned up a degree or so whatever it is to the higher setting which closes the club face so I guess I got to uh, go back to kind of my older swing and shut the club face even more just try to straighten this back out this is another tough shot we got a whole bunch of trees unfortunately we can't really go low so we kind of got to blast one through here I think go somewhat up and over we're probably as a high likelihood we catch these trees no matter what we do so we're gonna go, we got 182 down once. We got 181, the 10% will be, call it 18, 19. So right around 200-ish yards. We're gonna kind of grip and rip the five iron. Again, I think there's a good chance we catch these trees. So I would go four, but I can get the five, better contact on the five and get it started a little bit higher. Hopefully get up over those trees, but I think I'm gonna need all the club here I can get because it's likely going to get knocked down by those trees and then hopefully get as much distance out of it as possible. Heavy into the right. Yep. Granted, this is a practice round, essentially, but this is where this gets a little frustrating when obviously it's all my doing, hitting into these trees, but it does get frustrating, kind of hitting out of virtual trees. And we're right under one, trying to go right over another one, so. Uh, luckily, this one's a smaller one, but I don't know if we can, we're pretty much underneath it. I don't know if we can get up and over that one. I think, yeah. I'm gonna aim, aim there. So to the pin is 101, down one, so call it 100 yard, yard, ugh, 100 yards ish. Plus the 10% will be another, call it 10 ish. So looking at 110, I'm gonna go punch seven iron. Don't get me wrong, it is good to practice some of these shots, but kind of tough to judge. I actually hit it decent, but my foot slipped. I think we got lucky. I hit that one kind of hard. At the quick glance, I think we might have caught that big tree, which slowed it down a tad, which was good. It was basically the shot I was looking for, but I think I put a little too much on it, but we got it to work out for a, a bogey, but it could have been worse. That could have been a blow up hole. <sighs> Plus three, slowly falling apart. 16th hole, par three, 191. I'm gonna go six iron. Again, I mentioned it before, you don't see a whole lot of people practicing punch seven irons on the driving range, so this is good for that, I suppose. <sighs> I 
decent contact, but pretty far right. <sighs> this slice is getting frustrating. I aim right, try to play it so set up more towards a draw, close my stance a tad, and then still starts right and goes right. If this continues to happen, it's kind of one of those things where you almost subconsciously you see people do it that battle a real bad slice. Eventually they get so frustrated and fed up they just start aiming way left if it's gonna do that anyways, but that's not exactly the right right path to take in the long run. We hit some straight shots, but I would like to be able to do a draw on a fade on command or just at least somewhat straight on command. 35 plus another three or four, so right around 38, 39. I'm gonna go 56 degree. Hopefully it's not too long, it was a little bit left. Tad long, tad left. We're on the green though. Plus one at that. All right, two holes left. Grab some Gatorade. I'd like, like at least one bird out of these two holes. I guess Darren will have to let us know if this is a notoriously hard or easy course or just somewhere in between. Not the easiest course we play, but it's not super difficult either. So I wonder how the uh, kind of average scoring goes for someone that plays here a lot. We're gonna aim right about there. A little bit towards the left, leave us some room for the slice. I was hook, hit good again, but started right and going right. Can't seem to get the ball to turn over, to save my life, but at least it's somewhat manageable. One forty plus the ten percent. We're looking at. Call it 14, 15 yards, right around 155. I'm gonna go nine iron, smooth nine. Usually play the nine to about 155, 160 on course. So if we catch this one good, should be right around that right number. Popped it up, that's gonna be short. Bad swing. 28 yards, plus we're in the rough, so. Looking right around 31, 32 yards, I believe. Tab left, hopefully not too long. That was a little bit better. More of the shot that I was looking to do. All right, no bloodshed. So, on to the 18th hole, par five. We got water left and right. And short. We got slight dog leg. Pretty 
relatively open up here, at least off the tee. I'm gonna aim right about there. Should, if we even, if we draw one, should have room towards the left there, but likely it'll go right, so hopefully either catch the fairway or just off the right side of the fairway. Kind of off the toe. I think that helped keep it, kept it a little bit uh, straighter. Definitely didn't get all of it though. But we're not on the water, we're not on the trees, so 272 left. Plus that's a good 27, 30 yards on top of that because we're just in the rough, so we need pretty close to 300 yards here. And grip and rip the three hybrid. Definitely not going to get it there, but hopefully put it within somewhere between a 52, ideally a 56 degree left, but somewhere between like a 52 and a pitching wedge if we hit this good. It's not terrible, but that wasn't the cleanest strike. That was off the heel. And it showed. So granted we were out of the rough, that was about 230-ish, but when I really hit that club good, I can get a good 260 out of it off the deck. Sometimes 270 plus. But those are few and far between. So we did get what we were asking for though. We got 60. We're not in the rough, so there's no shortage there. We got 61 up one, so it's gonna die a little bit. So 62 yards, probably play it a little bit closer, maybe 65. I'm gonna go 52 degree. See if we can get out of here with a, uh, a par or a birdie. If we hit the green, it's par. If we get inside the inner circle, it's a bird. We'll see. Hopefully it's not too much. Ugh. Ugh. I feel like I hit that one decent too. And we get a bogey after all that talk. All we need to do is hit the green and we didn't do it. So. Not the best showing, but not the worst. From Patterson River Country Club or Golf Club in Bond Beach, Victoria, Australia. Again, courtesy of Darren Marsh for the suggestion. So shout out to you, I appreciate it. We ended up with a plus 476. Not too bad, can't be too disappointed in that. We went 37 and then 39, played better on the front. Only two out of 14 fairways. I think almost every single shot besides one that I remember was to the right. So we probably hit 11 out of the uh, 14 to the right side of the fairway. 9 out of 18 greens in regulation, we'll take that. That's at least 50%. Um, that's the baseline number I want to be at, closer to 75 ideally, and then 31 putts. So not too bad, that's closer to one and a half, two putts, um, getting near that two putts across 18 holes. But the goal is to be um, 1.5 and then closer to, to one ideally. But obviously one is, is kind of tough here. Only 18 putts across 18 holes. Even in real life, that's pretty crazy to one putt everything, but that's with here, since there's no putting, of course. Um, that's all I have to do with the wedges, so. Nothing too crazy on the scoreboard, or on the scorecard, rather. Mostly pars, had two birds, both on the front, and then uh, six, six bogeys, three on the front, three on the back, and the rest were pars, so. Again, not too bad, 76. Can't be too mad of it when you're, when you're under 80. Um, four over so fun course had some challenging holes had some difficult shots out of those trees again appreciate shout out to Darren for the uh, suggestion if any of you out there that are watching this want me to play your local course or uh, 
even just a course maybe in the area that's private that you've never been able to play or um, a par 3 course, 9 or 18, anything, just let me know. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel, and I'll see you guys at the next course.